Hi, so in this video, we're going to go over the overdub feature in Descript and specifically what to do after you use the overdub feature. Overdub does a AI version of your voice, so it'll sound like you and you can kind of like uh, use it to correct words, but it doesn't fill in the visual image uh, of you if you're recording that. So you need to do one of three things, either adding in a freeze frame for the video, using the same clip of the video and just muting it, or lastly, throwing in B-roll on top of it. So I'll, I'll go over all three solutions here. And this is our example. I say, uh, well, let's just listen to it. So it'll be a uh, kind of jumping off point from our conversation. Say jumping off point from our conversation instead of for. So to, uh, to correct that, uh, just hit uh, highlight and hit overdub. And it'll say I need to add in the speaker first, which I'll do here. If you haven't set up your overdub voice to do that, it, it does take uh, about 30 minutes of you reading some pre-recorded text for the uh, AI to learn what your voice sounds like. Now that I've uh, selected the speaker, I'll just hit overdub. And I'll change that from to a four. And it'll take uh, just a moment to generate the audio, but you'll see right away that this does generate a, uh, a black spot in our clip. So let's click a division here and extend our original clip just a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll add in a freeze frame at this point. Delete this right here so it's all matched up again. And then let's look at this. Uh, this is 0.336 sec seconds. So we can just trim the size of this to be about the same as that. And let's see, 0.336 is right about here. So now I can just kind of grab the tail and drag it to that point. So yeah, now we got the uh, same size as our added in audio. And we're just going to double click it and then drag it on top and we'll put it right where that four is. So now let's see how this reads with the, uh, with the new video portion. So it'll be a uh, kind of jumping off point for our conversation. And, and you can see it just kind of freeze frames right there. Now, if we want to do a little bit better than that, what we can do is let's go back to, uh, back to here. And since for and from is basically like the same word as far as number of syllables go, we can just uh, use the old video portion and put it here. So to uh, so to do that, let's take the uh, the old vi original video here. We can see that we need to extend it to about here on the timeline to get about the same 0.336 seconds. And then we will clip this here by adding in a split clip. And let's see how we we'll just kind of fine tune this to get it to that uh, magic 0.336 seconds. So that'll be right here and then drag this into that point. Cool. So now uh, we'll just uh, drag this on top. And now the, uh, the thing we got to do here is just make sure this lines up so we don't have any, uh, any blank spots. Uh, but then also uh, we'll just take the uh, audio level and take it down to zero. So let's look how that looks now. So it'll be a uh, kind of jumping off point for our conversation. And see, that's the uh, probably a better edit because it's uh, barely noticeable. Uh, but let's say that we wanted to add in a bunch of uh, overdub voice. So after the four, let's do uh, for the meeting, and you will need to, and you will need to download Zoom to join the call. So this will take a moment to process, and let's listen to how this sounds. So it'll be a uh, kind of jumping off point for the meeting and you will need to download zoom to join the call. And as you can see, that's it's a longer blank period. What we could do now is we could just add in B roll would probably be the best option at this point. So we'll uh, do the plus here and add in a track and I'll just use uh, kind of some generic uh, stock footage of somebody having a meeting. And now we just got to trim that for the amount of overdub time. So now let's, let's see how that looks. So it'll be a uh, kind of jumping off point for the meeting and you will need to download Zoom to join the call. So yeah, that's uh, three different ways of handling the, uh, the gap that Overdub generates. If you have any questions or comments, definitely uh, leave those in the, uh, the space below, and uh, thanks for watching.